Guys, welcome back to section to problem f six eight from the fundamentals of chapter six. We're on method of se method of sections now. Okay, so if you went over the last problem six seven, you might have um, seen that we had an over overhanging beam. Okay, or cantilever beam. In this case, we have uh, a structure that's supported on both sides A and G. So what we're gonna need to do initially is find the reactions at A and G. So we know A is a pin, so we know it's going to be AY. Now let's just assume AX in this direction. And then we have uh, determine the forces, the state of the mass. okay. And then here we have a roller, which it's kind of blurry, but it is a roller. And we know it's going to be GY. Alright, so before we get started, let's just find those. So Analyzing the whole structure, okay, before making a cut. So forces in the y direction. We have ay plus um, gy. What else? Minus 20 kilonewtons, minus 30 kilonewtons, and then minus 40. All right. Equals zero. Okay, and now let's just take a moment about a. Okay, so we take a moment about A, we're gonna have 20 kilonewtons pulling it clockwise. Okay, so minus 20 times two. Then we have minus 30 times four, minus 40 times six, right? So far so good. And then we have GY starting to oppose that movement towards the clockwise direction. It's pushing it counterclockwise. Okay, it's going Okay, because if we took this off, this whole structure is going to go this way, right? It's going to clock clockwise direction, all right? So plus, let's see, that's, that's 3, 6, so it's going to be 12 times GY equals 0. And this will give us, let's see, GY is... Thirty-three point three three kilonewtons. Okay, and then plug that back into that first equation that we did, and we should get a y. Okay, a y will be so that's going to be seventy ninety minus thirty-three point three three. So right, seventy twenty, yeah, fifty-six. 0.67 kilonewtons. Okay, store those for later. All right, and now, now we're gonna do method of sections. So they're asking us to find the forces of members LK, KC, and CD. All right, so let's look at that. So here's CD. All right, and notice how it's a two, it's a two, three, uh, triangle here, so we have two as the base, three as the as the height. Okay, so that that can give us that angle phi over here. So let's just do phi real quick. So phi is inverse tan of three, right? Opposite over adjacent two. So make sure you're in degree mode in your calculator and that is 56.3 degrees usually they do a 345 triangle but in this case they did not do that okay all right so let's go back to the members so CD LK and KC so where's KC well we have KC right here and LK where are you, okay? All right here. Okay. Again, we have the little Z, the Zorro. Almost, not really, but okay. So let's cut, let's make a section cut through those three members, okay? So let's show you what not to do. So we're not gonna do this, okay? That's a no-no. 
we're not gonna do this again no we're gonna cut it through here and then analyze the left hand side or the right hand side okay so let's see from this the left hand side let's see let's look at the one that has the most forces so this if we look at the left hand side we have a y oh yeah a x is zero we have a y this 20 and 30 and 3 on nodes here we have this one this one and three unknowns. So, yeah, I guess up to you. I think it's easier to draw a left hand side, so I'm just gonna go with that. Laziness is allowed here, it's more efficient. Okay, that's this is B, this is C, this is L. Let's draw the ghost point K because we might need it. Hint, hint. Who knows? Maybe we need D. Okay. And let's draw the, the forces that we want. So this is LK. Right here we have um, CK. Okay. And then we have C, D. All right. And aside from that, we have um, three external forces. We have A, Y, which is 56.67. We have 20 and 30. Okay. So again, just like before, Let's look at a point where we can take a moment and, and simplify it to where we don't need to use these other forces, okay? We can eliminate the most forces. And that's going to be point C. So you just look at point C. We have three forces originating at it, uh, uh, originating from it, okay? So we have, let's take a moment about C, set it to zero. Okay, so we're going to have 56, and we know the distance is here at 2, so it's going to be 56.67 times 4, all right, clockwise, so that's negative. Then we have this 20 pulling it counterclockwise times 2, and then LK. LK, we just need to remember, just bring the line of action, shift it down, and what is that distance? That is 3. So it's going to be LK times 3. And LK is trying to make it rotate clockwise, okay? And that's it. That's all we need to do for this, and then let's just look for LK. Yo, LK. Okay, so that's going to be 56.67 times 4, minus 40, right? So, boom, positive, minus, oh, we get the negative here. So, after all, this gives us minus 62, well, that's a dumb 2, 62.2. Kilonewtons. All right. So then we know that LK is actually. So I drew them all in tension. So we know that LK is actually in compression. Okay. Boom. All right. So now let's do. <coughs> actually, we can do CK pretty easy because CK is not at an angle. So we know if we do forces in the y direction, it's going to be 56.67 going up, minus 20, minus 30, and then plus ck, plus ck, okay? So then ck is going to equal um, 56.67 minus 50, all right. 
So again, minus, so 56.67 minus 50 will give us 6.67 kilonewtons. Okay, so the structure is kind of getting squeezed, okay, because in compression as well. And that's one thing you guys can do is to first kind of look at the whole structure, how the forces are acting on it, and then try to this and try to just or not assume but decide on how the structure is going to be like deforming as these forces are apply, applied to it. So we know that it might bow down in the middle, okay? So yeah, so CK might be compressed, you know. Uh, real so that's so those are the reality checks. Oh, yeah, this is compression. Okay, so now we got two of the three that we need, okay? So one, two, and now we need to find CD, okay? Well, so now before you go any further, all right, you might jump, you know, you might be automatic like a robot and just jump straight into another moment equation. But look at what you have. There's CD going here, and you have LK going into the right as well. There's no other X, uh, there's no other force in the X direction. So what you can easily do is just, okay, forces in the X, you know, just do it nice like this, and say, okay, LK plus CD equals zero. You know they have to add up to zero, because the structure is in, uh, in equilibrium. But we actually had LK is, is compression, so we know it's going to be minus 62. 0.2 plus CD equals zero, and then that gives us CD as 62.2 kilonewtons. Okay, and that's and that's actually intention because we didn't you didn't have to uh, there was no negative sign for it. Okay, and just you know we already one thing you can do is as you figure out which direction these are going, you can flip the direction here, okay, and that way when you use it again, you're going to be like, oh, okay, minus LK, because LK is going to the left, now that you fixed it, okay, what I did here was, I knew that LK was here, so this is kind of what I give the professor, okay, 62.2 compression, but this is what it actually is, according to my drawing, okay? So when I plug it into anywhere, you have to plug it in with the negative 62.2, okay? All right, guys, if you have questions, comments, concerns, just drop a comment below. i uh, be happy to help you out. Um, thanks for tuning in to uh, this problem. Take it easy, guys.